Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are outside. I wanted to change it up a little bit, but uh, since I'm doing like videos every day, <laughs> I wanted to change it up and it's very hot. So I don't know like why I'm doing that to myself, but yeah, I'm just going to try and like concentrate even with the heat. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to do like a um, general reading. I don't didn't like have anything in mind um, for this reading, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to see what happens, you know. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for your reading, you have the Queen of Pentacles. You can't really like see my my cards, but it's okay. You have the Strength card. You have the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of of Swords. So. With all of this, it tells me that like you obviously went through something like a betrayal of some sort. Um, you you were like feeling really down, like maybe like right now it's maybe or like I feel like it just happened. Like maybe there was like something that happened uh, recently, uh, what this this year that we really, like um, like that you didn't see coming and that you really like felt. That you felt like you couldn't like really get out of that like that that was the the end you know like the person like feels like you know it's the end like there's no nothing better can come after that you know like <laughs> pretty pessimistic and really down um but i feel like this is your like your strength you know like what doesn't kill us makes us stronger i feel like that's the, the general vibe of the of the reading that like the strength that you that you've learned is to be able to discern like the right from the wrong, to be able to see through people, like see the the truth in people, be able to have like a really sharp mind, and be able to really, um, yeah, just like what I said, just be able to like see the truth, see like who the people that you like surround yourself with, like how are. Uh, how they really are and like be able to see how they really are you know i feel like that's your your strength and this is your like overall energy like that you will become you know this queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is someone that is very uh stable and she is kind of like the self-made queen you know she doesn't need anybody and she is able to uh, sustain your, uh, herself and also her family and the people around her and she's able to like help them and she someone is very empathetic and just also like the the strength card like someone who is like very passionate and I feel like that's who you will be very passionate very calm in stressful situations uh, because you will have already gone through something very traumatic you know and and you will have gain from that the the ability to to see through the bs you, you know um because in any queen you know of like the tarot uh they don't like like they're queens you know they don't let anyone um talk over them they don't let anyone uh dominate them you know they are kind of like very well established you know in their own uh, qualities you know like they're they are just uh, powerhouses you know they don't need like anybody else they and this queen in particular she is really good at making her surroundings very uh, luxurious and like she has she has a good uh, relationships with the people around her you know she um she's able to make anyone like feel comfortable around her and i feel like you will have become this person with like what like sometimes you know like we can use the the the, the ace of swords for good or for bad um and i feel like you will use it for good because you will be this queen that is like not like she's not bitter about the past you know she has she has she has learned from her mistakes you know um, and she's good at business too so it's also good to have a really sharp mind and be able to 
um, to see clearly, you know, when doing business things. This is also the code for like new beginnings, new opportunities. So it will definitely like, you will definitely want to, to just go for the things you want, you know? And that's like, yeah, this is also the, um, the green light, you know, to do that. Um, I don't feel like you're going to stay in this um, Ten of Swords uh, energy. You will definitely like get back on your horses, you know, and go for the things you want. And you are someone that like doesn't let like obstacles like get to them, you know, like you are someone like you're very um, courageous and like you don't let your fears hold you back. And and you stay really calm in stressful situations, which is good. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is your energy like right now and like moving forward. So let's see like what, what else you got. Use the mirror oracle to see what ha happens next. But this is a really good cause. I feel like you are like heading to like a a really like luxurious and stable future i feel like you will just okay this is too much um have like a, um a, like independent just like self-made you know woman energy it's like boss energy you know i feel like that's the boss b-i-t-c-h energy you know so what else what do we have for you? So you have the family card. So yeah, the queen of uh, pentacles is really close to her family. She likes to have a family and to um, take care of her family. She is like a really like a mother. She's like the mother, you know, but like takes care of like uh, everyone's uh, in, like uh, emotional stuff also. But also like if everyone is happy, you know, and like take, takes care of like everyone's like if everyone is like feeling happy, you know, she makes sure that she makes sure that like everyone is in her family is happy, you know. And you have ch um, children, child, children. Um, so I mean that, that's that might be might be what you want. I'm kind of like don't want to like put my sunglasses on, but it's very sunny and I'm like I, w I would be like this squinting all the time. Also, I did something weird. Okay, so I'm I have to like keep my glasses on. But yeah, so you might want um you might want a family. You need to build a family and have children. Uh, your children might be very important, like in your life. Maybe you um maybe you have a lot of them. You know, and you really like I feel like for you, you might like be born to be a mother. You know, I feel like some people they just like. Uh, they know they want to be a parent, you know, in their, in their life. It could be like a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, you might want to, to really like be very like um, drawn to building a family. Uh, and you also are a great uh, mentor for, for your children. Or if you don't have children right now, you will be like a great mentor for children. It doesn't have to be yours if you don't want children, but you might like want to work around children, you know, and uh, help them in any like uh, way, you know, just work with children and like be a good mentor to them. Um, and they will feel like your own family, you know, but you could like uh, also have already uh, have children and I feel like you're a good mother or a good father. Then you have uh, law with the magic mirror and money. So so you could like manifest money, you know, in the future and like maybe um, maybe you work in the law department, maybe you're like a lawyer, maybe you're like a, I don't know, I don't really know like how the, all the, <laughs> all the career that is like in the law field, you know, but uh, you might like with the, the, your job, uh, you might want to, you might be able to like earn a bit of money with that but i feel like that's not the message here but i feel like you might manifest a lot of stability i feel like that's the message here because you have the scale you know in the background 
and you have the like manifesting is called uh, manifesting your uh, desires and I feel like you're going to manifest stability in your like um, uh, and your finance um, and you have contract so you might have to maybe you're like changing jobs maybe you're like in like a changing jobs right now or maybe you might want to do that in the future to be able to be more uh, financially stable like manifest to manifest uh, more like financial stability you might want to like change job or at least like um i don't know like sign a contract with with uh with someone that is going to make you uh more financially stable and you have reunion so this is definitely um like surrounding yourself with people that that you can like talk to about maybe like a project that you have you might want to like talk about uh, this project with uh, other people that might help you and and uh, in the in the end you know signing a contract signing a contract um, maybe you can just talk to what you want to do with people around you and maybe they will um, uh, find a, a possible you know spot in the in the company you know or like something that you want to do they might help you uh, sign that contract you know that like new uh, opportunity and like get that new opportunity so definitely like talking to people that like um, uh, that might that might help you that uh, might be the solution here but um, and you have birth so this is definitely the like a new a new beginning a new era of like this I feel like we are talking about career and like a job a future job so i feel like this is a new era that we're like going into with the reunion and like getting people together to uh decide of like a certain new opportunity a new project that you might want to take on or like um yeah, something like that so i feel definitely like there's like a change of job a change of career for you um um or like a new position and you might want to like uh, you might need an agreement for, from like your boss or like certain people and they're going to like talk about that and you will have to talk about what you want with them something like that no if it doesn't resonate then just leave it but um but yeah, it doesn't have to like resonate for like everybody but this is a general reading so um so yeah what else can we have with this so you might like want to work with children so that maybe that's why that's what you want to like um, go towards you know like that might be something here uh, and you have the gift so you might really have like have a gift for like uh, working with children you know like just like have a gift to just manifest the thing that the things that you want in life I see you really being uh, motivated to and really like being um, always you know like uh, on the next idea you know like you're not you're not going to stay in in something that you don't enjoy you know you you really like uh, walk like this you know like I'm not enjoying my, my life right now I don't like this so what can I do to change this and then you're like okay I need to do this 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 and this and talk to this person and talk to this person and ask for this um, ask the universe you know for like a sign or like for uh, a new opportunity um, and I feel like you will realize that like either like the universe is like giving giving you something giving you th like the what you wanted um, or you might just like have a gift to like work with children maybe that's like what you need to do this is also for like, just for like some just some people not maybe for everybody but if uh, they're like working with children is not speaking to you um, I feel like this might be uh, this new project that you might uh, like take on uh, might feel really like a gift you know like like maybe um, you weren't you did not know where you were heading you know with this um, but you knew that like it was the good a good thing like the gift you don't really know like what's inside but you know it's a good thing because it's a gift so um, it's a good gift at least that's the meaning of the card it's a it's an actual like good gift you know um but you don't know like what's inside so even if you like don't know what this new adventure is you know uh you know like like that's 
where you need to go, like where where you need to head, and you know, and and just like going into the unknown, you know, and just be excited for that, you know. It's, uh, so yeah, so it might not like be working with children, but it could be the case for some of you. But uh, I feel like it's like a good like um, also the the state of of mind that you need to be in, just like being carefree and just having fun and enjoying life um, and, and know that like you are um, like the children you know they have like uh, parents or like it could be a mentor for like not like a, ch a child obviously that, so like it could be a, a mentor for you or just people or, like just the universe you know that like you know that you are protected and guided by the universe so everything is always going to be okay you know I'm just saying you know I'm not <laughs> a lot of times but uh okay what do we have else and like maybe this new adventure you have lies and keeping secrets so you might want to like not talk about this um to everybody just talk about this to the people that might help you that can help you with this but not to everybody sometimes you know when like our projects are not like really you know in the like anchored you know in the real in the reality you know it's kind of like stressful a little bit because people might discourage us and but i don't feel like you will get discouraged you have like the strength card so i feel like you are going to be like unstoppable you know <laughs> like there's no like obstacles that can stop you you know so um so yeah so you might want to like just keep things on the down low you know for a while until it's until it's already here and like and maybe working um so you have party and having fun so yeah like i said you have the ch the children card and so this is just to enjoy life to have, have fun with the, what you need what you want to do if you are like lucky if I'm not lucky i don't like that i don't like that word but uh some people you know they think that they need to uh not really like enjoy their job you know they they think that a job is not like necessarily me meant to be like a passion thing but for you i feel like it it is that you're going to really like live uh from your passion from something that you are passionate about so and and i feel like you will have fun at work you know like what i'm doing right now like it's just fun for me like i will do it like just for me like i read my like tarot for me i do readings for myself so like i was like I'm just going to do it for everybody else and like i enjoy it and doing that all day every day you know so um so it is, it's not like work for me but it is kind of because i'm like doing it as a job you know i'm not like earning a lot but <laughs> but um but yeah i'm just like living with like doing what i love to do so i feel like that's what you will do also and not like settling for like a job that is not fulfilling you and I feel like a lot of people do that because they think that like, that's just life, you know, that like you can't always do things that you love to do. Sometimes you have to like um, do things that are annoying or like don't, that don't really like, that is not like really like fulfilling, you know, so that you just, you know, it's a job, you just have to like clock in and clock out, you know, <laughs> just do it and then go home and do it, do it again the next day. So. I don't really see the life life like that and i feel like that's the same thing for you uh okay you have ex lover old spark so and oh, uh an unfinished business and unresolved situation so i think maybe you did try in the past to to do uh what you want to do right now like uh, career wise I feel like you tried it uh, in the past and it didn't work out so maybe that's why you need to uh, keep it secret for a moment until it works because people will try to discourage you but you i don't uh, feel like you will get discouraged so i feel like you might go back on a past venture a past project a past passion passion thing you know passion project you might go back on that because you really feel like this is what you meant to do and maybe it didn't work out the first time you tried it but i feel like this time it's going to work 
if you really like stay courageous so maybe that's the um, that's what was the um, the ten of swords maybe that's like your previous uh, project you know it didn't work out and it really like put you down and it put you in a like downward spiral and you didn't want to like get up and try again and i feel like you will definitely uh i feel like you had like a breakthrough oh my god um I know. Um, sorry, I feel like the ten of sorts was like a past uh, project that you have and that you had, and it didn't work out. Um, and you have uh, the, the ace of swords, and the ace of swords is also a breakthrough. So I feel like you had like a breakthrough and realized uh, why it didn't work out, and now you know why it didn't work out, and now you like you can go back on the on the horse, you know, because now you're like strong enough and you have what um all you need to, to tackle this um this thing again you know you have like regained your your passion you know about about this project it like went away you know in the past because it didn't work out but i feel like now it's come like renewed and now you can revisit you know this project more much more calmly and like with more um uh assurance you know like confidence like the lady on the card is very confident like she is like holding the jaws of like the lion so she needs a lot of confidence to, to do that to do this scary thing um and and it will be successful this time because the queen of pentacles obviously she's the queen of like the pentacles <laughs> suit so uh, yeah she is very uh, business oriented and she just knows how to make money and how to succeed and uh, make a um a like a, st a stable and comfortable home for her family so I, and I definitely think that like you are very like family oriented and that you want one so okay i feel like i like i covered everything i'm just going to pull a card from the sacred feminine oracle and like see what advice you can i can give you uh about all of that um so yeah, I'm very happy about this this reading. Uh, I don't know. I, I love this reading, so I'm happy. Okay, let's see what advice you need to hear right now. Okay, already one is well. I have two. So you have expressive. So I feel like this is just working on your throat chakra. You know, like being able to uh, express you know the idea that you want. And don't be afraid to. Um, tell people like what you want what you want from them what you don't want from them to be able to really say that so not, not no that's be able to tell people that no that's not okay uh, or like I want that from you uh, or like also tell people about your ideas uh, like tell the right people about your ideas really like be able to discern like wh who uh, is going to help you and who isn't going to help you like be able to help you or maybe um um like sabotage you you know like and you will be able to to do that but it's just a, a reminder to like work on on this uh what's it called on this ace of sword you know to be able to really have a clear mind and see who you can talk to who you can trust I'm going to read the little booklet, you know, in case I have like uh, it's a new deck, so I don't really know like all the meanings. I'm just like using what comes to my mind, you know, my intuition. And you have generous, so yeah, this is also the the um, definition, you know, of the Queen of Pentacles. She's very generous uh, with her family, and I feel like this is your uh, your your vibes also. Um, what what defines you? You're someone that is very generous. And you want to be able to be generous, so that's why you want to be stable, you know, financially and in your like work. And you want everything to be stable. You want to be sure that you can provide for your family. Okay, I didn't realize that it was like the noise in the background. Just now it stopped, so now I noticed that there was noise. So I might have to like change the sound a little bit in when I edit the video. So I don't know. I should have thought about about that, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to read a little booklet and about those two cards and yeah. So this is uh, what I said you know, for expressive to reconnect with your throat chakra. 
um, express who you are in the deepest part of your being and express yourself as a spiritual being or soul. So this is just being able, able to uh, tell the world you know who you are and to like actually do what you are meant to do on this earth like to really know yourself and show it to other people because people will be inspired by by that you know so just, just be very like um use art to express yourself that could be also a, a thing for you free your creativity you know just like express yourself through creativity maybe that will be something that can help you uh, in your future endeavors, you know, this is just yeah, to be very creative, to express yourself through art. And if you are not like very creative, uh, just express yourself in a different way, you know, to like not be a not be afraid to, um, to not be afraid to to say what you want to say, you know, to really work on on speaking, on expressing your feelings, what you want. Yeah, this is just basically like, I'm repeating myself, so. <laughs> Let me see what we have for generous. So generous is self-knowledge and expression. So this is really like knowing, you have abundance, generosity, security, maternity, youthful spirit. So this is basically like everything that I said in the reading, but like condensed <laughs> in like a few words. So this is just like, to really be able to really know yourself and tell it to everybody uh, that like you are going to be very abundant in life so it could be with money that I do, do really like feel like you're going to be more um, financially stable um, and that you are very generous because you want like a family you like or you like your to uh, share um, what you've earned with your family and with the people around you uh, and that gives you like a security too and maternity so you might I do see like children you know around you like you might want children so I definitely see something like that you know for you so uh, and youthful spirit so yeah just this is just how I I told you to like do like you know you have the ch children card and I feel like that's like what how you need to to be you know to be uh, also uh, very carefree you know just like acts you know sometimes it's good to like just um dance around you know just like be a child like act like a child uh it's like revitalizing revitalizing us uh to be like this sometimes obviously sometimes we need to like be adults and act like adults but i feel like it's good also sometimes to just dream a little bit and just um don't have a care in the world and just live live like this uh, sometimes so so yeah um i don't know if my phone is like overheating but it's very dark so i hope you can still see me because it's getting weird the image on my phone but um but yeah i'm going to um uh, i'm going to uh stop there for you for today um i hope you enjoyed i hope i hope uh, you are related to the reading I hope, and uh, yeah uh, i'm gonna go now but i make readings every day so if you need more guidance on like other things i have like a lot of other readings if you want to check them out so, so yeah uh, so yeah i hope you have a great day i'm gonna go inside because this is way too hot outside but but yeah <laughs>